Welcome back, everybody, to the Science of Awesome. Now, today is May the 4th, and so may the 4th be with you, also known as Star Wars Day. So today, I thought we might talk about forces. A force is a push or a pull. You might push a spaceship or pull a Wookiee, but forces can cause things to move or to stay in the same place. If an object moves, we say it has an unbalanced force acted upon it, whereas if it stays still, we say it has a balanced force. Now let's say that we have two people that are both trying to exert a force on a box. This one right here is exerting a force of three newtons. And this one right here is exerting another force of three newtons. Now they are exerting the same force on the box. So the box won't move. They're pressing the same amount of force inside. But let's say that a different person comes in and they have more force than the first person. They have a force of four newtons, all right? So if they do that, this person right here has more force than this person, and therefore the box will move the direction the arrow causes it to move. We see then that it has a net force of one newton. In this scenario, this person right here has one more newton's worth of force than this person right here causing the box to move. These are called conflictual forces. When two forces go against each other, it is called a conflictual force. They are having a conflict, like a fight. Now these are called oppositional forces. That's when two forces are pulling side to side. So we might have one pull this way and the other one pull that way, okay? And so if one force pulls with a force of four newtons, and the other side pulls with a force of three newtons, the stronger force will win and will pull the box towards the Wookiee. Now in this case again, we have a net force of one newton. He's pulling with one more newton of force than this guy is. Now that was an unbalanced force, but a balanced force would be is if both sides are pulling with the same amount of force. So if they both pull with the exact same amount of force, then the box won't move. It's balanced. But not all forces work against each other. Some are cooperative forces. Now, a cooperative force is when two forces are going in the same direction. So let's say that this guy right here is going three newtons, and this one is going four newtons. Well, then they're both going the same direction. They're going to push the box this way. Now, that would equal have a net force then of seven newtons. The box would be moving with seven newtons worth of force. Now this again is an unbalanced force. So balanced forces stay in one place, whereas unbalanced forces move. What kind of unbalanced forces do you have in your house? Do you have things that move or stay in place? How does gravity play a role in this? If things are pushing down, the same amount of force would have to be pushing up to make a balanced force so that it wouldn't move. So this week, I want you to list things that have unbalanced and balanced forces in your house. And as always, like or subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, may the force be with you. What's the internal temperature of a tauntaun? Lukewarm. What do you call Chewbacca when he gets chocolate in his fur? The chocolate chip Wookiee. Which Star Wars character works at a restaurant? Darth Waiter. What do you call a female Mandalorian? A wool Mandalorian. So why did episodes 4, 5, and 6 come out before episodes 1, 2, and 3? Well, because of planning Yoda was.
Where did Luke buy his new arm? At the second hand store. This is not the video you were looking for.